Hello everybody and welcome back. As you can see, once more, we are at Coral Island and today I've been dying to do the swimming pool and I think I'm going to do it today. You can see there's a little bit of water sticking out there on the edge, which is irritating. Um, let's see. Is it sticking out on the other side? don't want to drop you, I just want to move you a smidgen. It's that one. Yes, it is. Let's see what it looks like on the other side. Okay, cool. So, <laughs> sorry, got distracted. Um, I've been looking at this wood and I like the wood, I just don't like the color of the wood. So we are going to change the color of this wood because if you look here, we have options. Now if we look at, I wish we had more options, but we don't really. I want my color wheel, guys, like now, like yesterday Ugh. just want to take the not gonna work is it probably not damn it Going to be too gray that's going to be too green and that's going to be too pink all right we are going to have to stick with the oak nothing i can do about it it's just i don't want to color we never did finish the base of the swimming pool But I think this color is just going to have to do. And as I say, I don't want to make the base a different color. All right. There we go. It's a slightly different planking I'll leave it like that for now now my thought process is I want to hide a light switch somewhere here and then we can actually turn the pool light on and off so we need a light switch I want a big one I just want something simple. What color is that? Yeah. Let's put it there for now and we can not sell it. Just make it. I think white will probably be the best. Because now we're going to play with the lights. And I intend to put the lights on and then turn the daylight down. I'm going to turn these, make these plastic and I'm going to turn the temperature down to about 3000. Brightness we can always play with. Let's start with that and let's see. Won't sit comfortably there, but it will sit there. And then we can literally connect it. And it's 
exactly what we're doing and how we're dealing with it. All right, we're going in there and we're going up there. Oh, hello. We haven't got enough of a lip on this pool. We always extend the lip of the pool. Alright. Let's go four o'clock in the morning. Ooh. Okay, and then we're going to literally copy this because now it's connected to the switch. We will be able to, as I say, I, I intend to put all the way around the pool and we can turn them down needs be if they're too bright. I'm going to slap them all the way around the pool then we're going to play with how bright they are. And then we'll be able to see and I will then be able to switch them off which is probably a good thing. Hey, that was pretty well done. It actually Okay, you're gonna have to. Why are you not sitting up? Okay, I'll. Um, as I say, I'm literally just slapping them around the around the pool for now, and we can come back and move them. Just thought this would be an interesting swimming pool. Is. We haven't got many poolside chairs and we are going to play with what we've got because I'm not going to make 20 poolside chairs, that's for darn sure. Oh, whoopsie. One more slot in there, almost. Okay, move tool, here we come. Slip it in there and tuck it up. How far do we need to tuck it? Ooh, I keep doing that, don't I? Up to there. And the reason I put the pool on inside is because then the light's going to reflect off the side here, which I think is stunning. All right, let's put you all up here. Can either a extend the lip of the yeah, extend the lip of the pool so the light is more diffused, or bring the light down a bit. How's everybody today? I hope you haven't all worked too hard this week. Looking forward to the weekend. It's been a Coral Island kind of week for me. My brain, as usual, is just latched onto just about every every time I, I I look at a TV or the internet or people. I'm like, oh, okay, that might work with what I'm wanting to do, <laughs> uh, which is quite funny. 
I'm definitely in build mode. Look at that. I think that's really cool. Obviously we will put lights in the pool as well because everybody needs lights in their swimming pool. I see there's grass underneath me. Eh? Have to sort that out. At an angle, isn't it? Actually, while I'm here, let's sort that out. I don't think that's paved. Right, a little bit more to go. Then I want to make a bar. I've been looking at all the bar, well, the counters that can be used for bars in kitchens, and they don't appeal to me for this particular build because I'm looking for something a little area, airy, area not as clunky and heavy so we shall have to try and play with a few things oh there's a gap there that's okay it does fit nicely within the pool so. all right look at that doesn't that look amazing like it a lot okay I'm happy with that let's just land and see if the, the lighting impacts too much on us as we walk around the pool no I think that works so let's just oh no, there it works fine Bit of water sticking out there. It's just here because we're standing further back that you can actually see the light. So we shall have to Ooh, what am I doing? Clearly wasn't doing supposed to be doing. That's okay, I think that will be just enough. I am going to put other lights around, but I think that is just the vibe that I'm going for. Awesome, and I think I'm going to present this as an evening theme, theme, scene, because this is going to look absolutely stunning once all the lights are in. If you look at that, 
that light is more muted we are going to have to either turn it up a smidge add in some other lights which we probably will okay guys I think that works let's take us back to what time did I actually set this for was it seven now you can understand why I wasn't too worried about and there's the light switch there so we can turn it all off and it won't destroy the game so yay all right, next. I do, it's my imagination. I swear I did this land painting. And tidy, I want tidy. It went very tidy. I think I've done this. little bit over here and yeah yep okay distracted all right I was talking about the lounges for the pool now Let's see. No, outside. Furniture. See, we've got these. We've got these ones. We've got these ones. Which aren't bad. And we've got these ones. These be these ones might I, I saw them when I was looking and maybe they will work in the spa as a massage bed. But so it's either this or it's this. I really love these, but the uh, these ones look more comfy. So if we go for you say darker base and then you know you'd want something with a cotton base to it poplin is a cotton base and burlap is too rough on the skin I think so let's we go with something like that That would be pretty cool. Very low, aren't they? This color is wrong. You need lighter, brighter. Let's see. I don't want to go white. White looks so clean and refreshing with a hint of grey to it, so I don't know. What do you think? The other alternate, obviously, is to use white wood on them. there and ponder them I do want a bit of a a garden around here all right so okay, this is where we are right now with the bar 
you can see I was I was taking stuff out we have stairs up to here and we will have windows in this um, these windows are just a little bit long now and if you see there that this is I try to make almost a sail with the triangles which I think looks quite interesting the outside because as you come out it's almost a sail and yes I'm going to probably put beams down here these are too big and clunky we are going to have to remove them but I didn't need them just to find a, a point of reference and then I want to build the bar here these are nice big doors that take you outside this will be an area that I think I'm going to shrink down a bit because we don't need all of this but I was thinking of putting some tables up here with okay let's see if I resize these that would look pretty darn good few tables here mm -hmm. table dining tables I was thinking of something like this I like these and we can have the pine base perhaps a white top and no table clip and we can have some where you can sit have your drink and watch the sun go down come up whatever side of the world you're on I don't know which side of the world you're on I think it would be sundown because the sun's over there right now and it's early morning so it would be sunset Pretty. I also don't know if I want to use this color. I think I'd rather go for a. I mean, I have all these colors to choose from, and I chose that one. Perhaps. some chairs here this will be more I'm, I'm thinking of these because these are really cool but we have options here Just no. It's not necessary. You, when you when you sitting, relaxing, having a drink, it's always nice to have a comfortable chair. So maybe something like this. And then we can obviously
diffuser color. Right now, actually, you know what? Let's stay white with this. Or now. And obviously, we are going to need to put a, a rail up here, but we are using the the glass, so that's fairly easy. so that I didn't put this up because I wasn't sure how deep I wanted this. I think this will do because then we can have tables like that here. Don't ask me about railings on, on the stairs. <laughs> That's another story altogether. Alright, so I established that that isn't bad as a counter. And then you've got that one. And I was looking at storage, but none of them appealed to me. So my thought process is, let's Obviously, the back is what's going to be facing the general public. I like that. But that is going to be too short. If you take that, it's too short. But if you take that, move this out of the way Let's I will have to center it before I mess with it change the color of it later okay so for for instance let's use this as a for instance okay I like that you can actually see through this and the legs are thin enough that they they're not super clunky when you connect them together I like that now obviously this is quite close to the stairs so we might need let's find some more chairs now our bar stools again are fairly limited um, for this I think I'm going to go with the wood and we can get pretty much two bar stools in there now Just tuck that in there. Because 
because if you tuck it like that, it does close off. Mm, sort of. Let's come around and see what we've got here. That's lined up with that. That's lined up. With that. And I'm not worried about that going. Now, for any decent bar counter with a stool, you have to have rungs on the stool. Maybe we can put rungs on the bar counter too. And for us to put anything on the bar, we need shelving rather than overlaps a nice amount. All right, where's my little brick? I need a brick. Do I need a brick or do I need a circle? Are we keeping it fairly? Thicker than the leg of, of the, the the unit that we're playing with, but that'll be fine. Then we need another shell. enough of a look on it. Maybe a bit more. But if you, if you now get the feel of the sort of slightly lighter kind of bar counter that I'm talking about here.
looking at sinks. So obviously you've got to have sink. Now I'm, I'm, mm, maybe just a straight cupboard. No, no handles. Awesome. Straight countertop. Double sink. We can go with the white wooden base. is fine we can move it Can go away because this will basically be what we are playing with. I will have to line up all the bits and bobs, but if we get ourselves another shelf. So we have a much lighter and less heavy counter and I can put some units across the back wall there. So I just put that there right now so we could get a height and we can put a fridge in. Functional cabinets. We need a bridge. Bridge don't fit. Yes. We can put that in. And we can put another fridge on this side. Can just figure out which way that one opens that way this one can open the other way awesome we can finish it up with we're we going to have a cooktop no because we've got a two restaurants on the property it will be nuts and 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 chips type thing so we'll just go for a standard 
wide word. change the the colors we can play with that now my thought process this is a little not the right height anymore but it's fine we can ex we can stretch them now we've got the this good snapping on okay and how well does that fit actually not too bad if we bring it down like that Okay, we just need to make it bigger now. What do you think? We've got again the diag uh, the, the the lines, the the fun stuff. And then we can do exactly the same thing on that side. Let's just pull that to there. And buy another one. say I was very happy when I figured out grid snapping because dawn so happy what am I doing I got all excited there but how cool is that yes this is this is floating right now and I'm aware of it small I can make this thing. Should we see? Okay. Yay.
cool is that? I just need to put something there. Otherwise it looks weird. So are we currently we've got rough plaster let's do the sand first and see what it's what it looks like it's more gray hmm it's not fitting The joys of grid snapping is that it literally will snap to the grid and that's a problem. I think I need to move this in a bit. you know what maybe just a little bit out because I like the way it joined up there corners you here you're actually not too bad awesome but now I just find that as a nice Summer. Actually, you know what? We're going for white wood. Not going for a pattern. Yes, we want it rotated. And it's not going to rotate, is it? Yes, it is. Yes, I did. Awesome. And then I think we just need something here. Hmm.
finish it off. I know it might look a little weird. Distance! It still looks weird. Okay. I wanted the counter to not be... to put that you really can't so it's a bit pointless actually having this not quite the right width so let's yeah. no sense whatsoever. I think I'm going to get rid of that. There we go. Alright, so this is the basic bar. Obviously if you want people falling on your head, you're welcome to sit down on this side of it. Obviously we've got this roof over us which is awesome as well because we are going to have some uh, similar to this with this wait uh, I wish we had a way of just having the items we've just used did I go right past it lightness again to it that actually makes it look airy I'm guessing we cannot put anything on this if I turn it sideways so we are going to have to think of an alternate plan there. That's okay. I'll just put that there because we can use it with that. All right. Hanging cabinets. That is huge and clunky and not what I'm looking for.
it in here. Quite scary that I almost got it right. Giving me grief. Fine. Hmm, not sure, don't know about that. I quite like it, but I'm not sure about it. The problem we have with that is there are no shelves in these damn things. Question would be, So if I did that, bring me the bottle of, of, of rum. Look at that. I would like, oops, I wanted to try and make a beer tap. But I, yes, look at that. That 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 just actually does work, and I quite like that. <laughs> oh yes, but maybe we should make this pine. I don't know. Okay, we need to put some more of these bottles in, shall we? I haven't got that many bottles of alcohol. Um, we've got the perfectly regular drink. We've got the wine. And then we've got, that's it. So the perfectly regular drink, we are going to have to have all the variations of the perfectly regular drink. Okay. Very 
this way. Damn it. Play seems to look good in the cupboard with the door closed. Pushing precise placement for whatever reason. And it's starting to bug me. I clearly need to move my keyboard because it's not where I want it to be. I keep on messing up. Okay, now, I was thinking, <laughs> it's bad when I'm thinking, okay, okay, I'm here, Let's change you to the pine, oak, whatever the color it is. Now, yes, snap to grid. We can overlap there.
Okay, that works. We also want cocktails. Now, unfortunately, cocktails are more complicated because we don't have glasses with liquid in them. Ah, I didn't put a cross section piece there, did I? Okay, let's stop from this. Move it. Oh. Just stop that problem. All right. Now, you know, when you go to those fancy places and they've got wine glasses hanging upside down. snapping back on because we want them perfectly upside down and hanging from here that makes sense eh. it's going to take forever them hanging lower. I think they'll be more effective if they're hanging lower. How is that? Are they le are they even? Yes they are. Alright, if we put lights on it, they should sparkle. I say that. Decisions, decisions. Let's just slap a, a light on light switch on the wall there. So let's find us some. So the first lights I want to put up are lights that I want to pretty much hide again.
last piece here. It's finished completely. <laughs> this there. Okay. Can I? of light I love I love shadows I love shadows all right let's take it up to 50 And it'll look really well I don't even know if we're going to see these glasses so I don't know I don't think the light is really shining on them they're looking weird they're not lined up Ugh. we shall have to see I'll leave the glasses on the counter and I'll I'll stick them up there the other alternate is to literally just stand them there they still don't they don't sparkle which is unfortunate right above them and it's not reflecting them hmm okay well it is what it is for now I will play with it all right then our 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 bartender has lots of space down here he has place for all his important things like his hot sauce <laughs> and we've got so much space here this hot sauce will even fit in here you got your green one you got your orange one on the counter but that dressing the bar is going to be the next thing but we're not going to worry too much about it now I do want a coffee machine on the bar there it is there we are and now we don't want and Everybody likes a good Irish coffee. Everybody 
body likes a good smoothie. And then of course we've got all the cloths because you're going to need cloths. Gotta have one on the count on the on the bar as well so we can keep it clean. Okay, so that's that's was my my thought process. You can sort of see the the you can see those more than those. So I'll take that as a win. We do need we've got this which is sort of beer shaped uh, Some of those on display too. Take some of these out. What do you say? We've got that, which will work. We can have a, a light beer. So we're going to need to change the colour of the cap, aren't we? Obviously, the yeah. Let's let's throw a couple of these around. Okay, so we'll play with those. We do need... Hmm, I really want a tap for beer, but I don't know how I'm going to do that. Any suggestions will be appreciated. But I think that would be cool. We do need chopping. Chopping. We need some lemons. some tangerines for sure and we need a pineapple for those fancy cocktails and I did download some more images from Unsplash which I will probably shrink down to a fairly small size and put them behind here but as a start that's not a bad little bar let me know what you guys think I will come along and put I'm going to put the glasses like that I'll put up we have Beer glasses. Let's start at the very beginning. We have pretty much whiskey glasses. We have you not in any shape or form martini glass, but it's a start. I The basic beer glass. Do we have that, which could also be a small beer, go beer glass. All of those are going to go up there. If I need to put another row, I shall do that. 
and then we haven't got you know hmm I put sorry I'm, I'm, I'm thinking how I did it because I did use let's see throw that there I can't remember what I used how big is that use that I think so if we oh yes now we've got to actually point to the okay it's not going to give me anything <laughs> all right if we change that change the base to I got a, a nice whiskey. Okay. From a distance. Could be a glass of whiskey or a glass of something. So I can always build a couple of cocktails. That would be fun. We also have ice creams, which have their moments, but. Probably be moved into these glasses. <laughs> okay, I'm going to break the game. I am. But it's going to be fun while I do it. And then over here, we're going to have a little area where we've got almost like little kiosks. We're going to have a kiosk where you can buy the island rum, maybe some cigars, sorry, but you know, this is the island, what can I say? And maybe some caps and stuff. So we do have caps, maybe an umbrella, sun hat, and some odds and ends, sunglasses for sure. So I'm gonna leave it here. I hope you like the bar. Um, I think it's quite cool. It's very light and, and, and breezy as opposed to a heavy bar, which probably would have happened with these counters here. And it's the right height. And do you see the light? Let's put the light on, shall we? There we go. There's not, it's the light that's making everything flicker. So guys, thank you so much for watching. If you've got this far, please consider subscribing for more interesting cocktails. <laughs> I hope you have a lovely day and I'll see you all soon. Bye.